What up, G-Life? It's your boy, MC Shadow, back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Check out the playlist, the playlist where I have all the videos and the unfortunate makes the video you're looking for a lot easier. You know what I mean? Uh, don't forget to click on the subscribe, the like. It's free, it don't cost anything. You'll be helping my channel out a lot. You feel me? Now, whenever I talk about these videos, um, no way am I glorifying this life because you get nothing out of this life. You know what I mean? It's better to stay in school because you get nothing out of here. You know what I mean? This shit ain't no joke. That's the real talk. You know what I mean? You ain't gonna get no money, no bitch, none of that, bro. You know what I mean? And that's just the real talk. But, you know, I owe it to my subscribers, you know what I mean? It's because of them, my channel practice, and you know what I mean? If they ask a question, I'm gonna answer it, you know what I mean? Um, I, I see it's only right that, you know, I answer my subscribers, you know, questions. If I'm able to. Um, and that is the evolution of gang, of, 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 of the gangster culture um, you know what exactly is the gangster culture and what is not um, now I think this question um, I think the way they were trying to ask it is a little bit tricky um, you know because often often people always uh, confuse um, you know the gangster culture with like the southern culture I don't, so I'm not sure if they were meaning the gangster culture or the southern culture because the gangster culture, uh, we're talking about cribs, bloods, uh, di gangster disciples, uh, a folk nation, people nation, uh, Tejanos, um, you know, all of that, like gangs in general, you know what I mean? And, and if there's one thing that we know is that all gangs have their different, different stilos, you know what I mean? From the gangs in Chicago to the gangs in New York to the uh, black gangs, the Asian gangs, and etc. You get what I'm saying? Um, and then you have like the like the southern or the typical pachuco, uh, you know, if that's the way people want to uh, phrase it, um, you know, st style, I guess, you know what I mean? Because you do had you did have that stilo like in uh, uh, Arizona and, and places like that, but were not Sureño gangs themselves, you know what I mean? They were their own gangs in itself. Uh, so like maybe like the Chicano culture, uh, when it comes to gangbanging, maybe that's what they meant. Um, so, you know, because it gets a little tricky what, what you want to consider all of that. Um, that's why I say that gangsters don't really have a way of dressing uh, because you have, you know, you have Hispanic gangs in in um, New Orleans. You have Hispanic gangs in, in, in uh, Texas. Uh, you have Hispanic gangs in Las Vegas, Arizona, Oklahoma, you know, Seattle, all throughout all over the United States and, you know, Central America and shit, all over the world, you know, for that matter. Um, you have gangs, right? And, and they all dress different. Um, same with when it first started right here, right? You had the Pachucos, who were not necessarily barrios themselves. They were not like, like typical street gangs, you know what I mean? Um, they were barrios, but in a sense, uh, what, they're, what they ended up evolving into is a lot different than how they first originated for. When they first originated, uh, was you know because there was a lot of racism and discrimination being you know happening towards you know our our people pues you know what I mean uh, with law enforcement with uh, civilians with uh, shit the military you know what I mean there was discrimination you know machine um, and you know just what happens when you try to oppress people they band together and form these groups you know what I mean as happened with the Asians the blacks Hispanics Irish, Russian, it has always happened with every group because that's what's gonna happen. If you try to oppress people, they are gonna band together and they ain't gonna be taking your shit. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's what these groups did, right? So they formed these barrios, right? And they had their own style, right? The Pachuco style, you know what I mean? With the music and everything. That is how they uh, identified, e you know, each other, you know what I mean? But as time went by, you know, these people who were getting oppressed now said that we're gonna give you a taste of your own medicine all right so now the ones that were getting bullied have now became the bulliers and what happens is when you give people that amount of power and they see what it's able to do just like humanity it influences and it goes straight to your fucking head so you know these people start now they start the one that's you know punishing people and everything like that because it makes them feel better about you know all the shit that they had to endure, it, you know, it, it, it eases their mind. It brings them some kind of comfort and stuff like that. 
um, sickening what happens when you uh, traumatize a child, isn't it? Anywho, so, you know, these groups, you know, start turning into marking territory and now expanding and, and, and now, you know, causing havoc and chaos and now clashing with other groups, obviously. You know what I mean? Because, you know, you you know, egotistic behaviors like that, you can't have two eagles uh, sharing one yard, you know what I mean? They ain't gonna like it. You already know someone that that's ego driven uh, uh, with uh, narcissistic behaviors does not like uh, the spotlight being taken away from them. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, clashes happen. Um, and these, these individuals now went from, you know, now wanting to expand kind of like a military. So pretty much there was no Stilo, right? Uh, after that, you know, anybody that was down for the cause, down for the fight, down for your you know, whatever you, you know, you were representing or whatever, uh, was more than welcome, you know what I mean? Kind of like the military, too, you know? You know, they take anybody, you know, when it's time for war, I mean, a big war, I mean, it's like, come on in, hop aboard! That's what these individuals start doing, you know what I mean? Uh, so, although, typically, a majority of them wore this kind of, you know, clothing, not all of them. It wasn't mandated, it wasn't mandatory, it wasn't if you didn't wear it, you weren't real, you weren't a real G. That's why when you look at old pictures, you see uh, a majority of them are dressed like in the typical, you know, cholo, you know, what, what people consider to be cholo, whatever, uh, but not all of them. You see gente with hair, you see gente with tight clothes or or, or, or off colors, you know what I mean? Um, but they're homeboys uh, because it wasn't, manda it wasn't mandated, it wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think people that come from outside of where it started, uh, you know, typically see that this is like a majority of them were typically dressed like that. They, they automatically assume that that was what, you know, what being a G is. But, you know, anybody that comes from these areas will tell you uh, the fucking clothes doesn't make you the fucking gangster, nor does the haircut. You could you could be bald. You could dress baggy and dickies and, and cover yourself with tattoos. They don't make you a fucking gangster. You could be a bitch. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and just trying to play the part, you know, because we have seen it a lot. Trust me, I have seen it a lot. Fools tatted, all G'd up, and out of the, and out of the softest fools in the fucking world, my boy. The biggest bitches. And I'm not making that shit up, homie. You know what I mean? They try to intimidate people with that facade and that act, homie. But you ain't fooling the real ones, homie. You can see right through the gimmicks. Because every dog's going to get their day, homie. And isn't a time, there's going to come a time where you're going to have to, you know what I mean? We don't really see what you're about, dog. And, you know, that's when you see people's true colors. You know, there could be fools that could be like, man, that fool doesn't look like a gangster. And that fool will take out the strap and starts bucking motherfuckers. And it's like you were saying, don't judge a book by its cover, homie. You know, and any, and any real G will tell you that. Don't underestimate a motherfucker just because of the way he looks. That'd be your biggest mistake. You know, a lot of people are like, you know, the, the dress code and whatever and think that that's what it is to be a G, but it isn't, you know what I mean? If that's maybe what you like, you know, you like that style, cool, whatever, but that don't make you a gangster. Don't ever get it twisted. Um, and that's just real talk. Um, but a majority of them would, would dress in, in, in the typical fashion, you know what I mean? But it started evolving three times. So when people say that the gangster culture doesn't evolve, like you full of shit, go look at the old pictures from older G's and see how it slowly starts changing as the times go. The clothes get bigger. It went from the the, the suspenders to to the to the fitted uh, slacks to the, the the nice dressing shoes. You know what I mean? To to the Cortezes, to the Dickies, and, and 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 it went from the slick back hairs and all of that to to bald. And you see, it slowly starts evolving. So you can't say that this is the original suit, you know, or gangster uh, 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 clothing. Uh, uh, the, the true gangster shit when if you look at all your older homies none of them were dressed like how you so called say with Cortez's and all of that they weren't um, you know it slowly started becoming that way so to say that these youngsters ain't, ain't keeping the tradition going or whatever what is the tradition you don't even know what the tradition is it slowly evolves with the times homie from like the disco era to whatever it slowly starts evolving with those times you know what I mean where's the proof good look at the pictures you know what I mean that's all the proof you need bro you know, you can check them out right here in my video. But I'm just saying it does evolve with time, um, you know. So what people are seeing now, right now, is a part of the evolution. It is what it is. But I'm just saying it does evolve. I'm Shadow We Out.